So uh, my name is Sarah Perry and I live in Falmouth um, and I've recently set up a community interest company called Cornwall Craft of Easter. Um, now the name comes from um, the idea of craftivism and it's bringing together kind of crafting activities with activism and with the idea that not only do you kind of make lovely things by hand for yourself or for others but you kind of make something with a bit of a voice attached to it so you're kind of trying to raise awareness about an issue that's important to you that could be a global issue like climate warming or it could be a real local issue like litter on your street no one picks it up or something like that i love it because it's about being creative um, it's about making something it's about participating in your community and, and in raising awareness about an issue that's important to you. My background is health research and I'm a clinical psychologist, so mental health has always been important to me. And I know relationships are fundamental to mental health, or to our well-being, and making connections and feeling that you belong. So I kind of thought, well, if I want to do craftivist projects, I've got to practice what I preach. So I've got to start on the street that I live on. So I think about November last year, I thought, right, I will see if I can get to know my neighbours a bit better without being in their face or, or annoying them too much but just as a way of kind of strengthening the road the community that I live on and trying to do it in a gentle way so um, I hand delivered a letter to everyone on our street so about 100 houses on our street and including a nursing home on our street um, and saying I'd like to find ways of us getting to know each other better and I'm thinking like I would like to knit something for the outside of your house you can knit that with me, or you can do it on your own, or I can do it for you. Um, are you up for it, really? But I got a really good response. Um, and I think about 20 people respond within the first couple of weeks saying, I want to be part of this. Um, and for me, it was amazing because I guess I sort of met people that I'd never even seen before, let alone smiled at or talked to. And, and literally people just across the road that I'd never seen, that suddenly I knew their name and, and the name of their dog or things like that. So it was just lovely. 50 households on our street have responded saying um, they'd like something knitted or like to knit something. So um, if you go up and down Marlborough Road, you will see outside people's houses, their drain pipes have been covered in knitting or crochet, there are pom-poms or there are tassels or there's bunting and I guess it's just about getting a sense of belonging that this is what Marlborough Road is about. So I go into the nursing home once a fortnight now and there are elderly people in there making pom-poms or knitting um, and, and so we're very much a part of the street um, and then a group of people who said they'd like we'd like to knit something for the Bowley which is the park just down the road, the play, play park. So we're going to knit arms for the outside of the park and have lots of gloves and it's a way of saying everyone's included here. I applied for National Lottery Community Funding and I heard in January that they have been awarded us some money to do something similar in three streets in Falmouth. So that project launches on the 1st of March this year and I'm asking people to nominate their street so it can be any street. In my head I'm thinking I'd like them to be as different as possible. It'd be quite nice if you had maybe a school or a nursery or a nursing home or residential home on your street because it's a way of trying to include everyone. We will pick st three streets in Falmouth by the end of March and then I'll be going in regularly to that street once a week for about six months to decide with people on that street what, we, what they'd like to do, what we'd like to knit and raise awareness about for those people on that street.